Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Today we have the long-awaited update finally hitting the live servers. This is Chapter 1 of Season 3 called Beyond. So, like many players, the first places I head towards was the Founder's World. Shinra to Desra here and I wanted to pick up a Chieftain. The intent then was to outfit this ship and take it through its paces and get a bit of a feel for it and take a look at some of the new features. But then plans changed as I loaded up Galnet Audio. Ramtar searching for new Guardian sites. The engineer, Ramtar, a leading expert on the mysterious Guardians, has requested help in locating undiscovered sites from the ancient alien race. He has issued the following statement. The artifacts recently delivered to me have been subjected to intense molecular analysis. As a result, I have deduced the possibility of Guardian sites in three specific systems. Galnet then went on to list three different systems, one of them in the Sinwave sector and a couple of others as well. Whilst here I also took a look at the technology broker, turned out it's a Guardian technology broker and they need Guardian components, so could this and the Galnet audio article perhaps be related? Well there's only one way to find out. And after an all too brief stint in the Chieftain, I was once again back in my ASP to travel 1000 light years in search of one of these Guardian ruins. Of course, I wasn't the only person to think of this, a number of other people have done so, and they've posted their results on Reddit, as well as on the forums. Now the great thing here for players like me, and probably many other players, is that these mysteries are no longer impossible to find, or even very hard to find. Indeed, all you have to do is go to the system mentioned in Galnet Audio, and then have a look at your nav panel inside your ship, and as long as you're within range, I believe 1000 light seconds or so, you'll be able to see exactly what you're looking for. And in this case, it's a Guardian structure. So you may remember the other Guardian ruins that were found a long time ago now, well over a year in fact I believe. And they were very very old, in the millions of years. The engineer Ram Tar made a lot of requests to players to go out there and study the ruins and bring back various bits of information. And he also put out a mission in the hundreds of millions for the reward. So it turns out ultimately that he's got news of new locations of some ruins and these ones are very different to the previous ones. So where the old ruins were more or less completely buried with a few structures up upon the surface which you could interact with, these ones seem a little bit newer I'd say. Then again that could be just my interpretation of what's going on here. But as we get into the ruins, we get a much better idea of exactly what's going on. Now the rest of the video is going to contain some pretty big spoilers, so if you want to avoid anything like that, then now might be a good time to stop watching. Everything up until this point is pretty much covered in Galnet Audio. So as soon as you get into this place, one thing you will notice is that there's a lot of the old uh, Guardian relics that we found previously. Things like the Guardian Urns and the Ancient Relics atop of these poles. But there is a bunch of new things here as well, many of them interactable, and it also appears there's some sort of puzzle as well. So a new mystery to figure out, which may lead onto something else. Whilst travelling around here, I did keep checking out the contacts panel, but not finding a whole lot, so ultimately I just pointed the vehicle towards some of these uh, pillars here, and just spammed the target button. So yep, yeah, these are called destructible panels, so I guess there's not much else we can do with them other than shoot them. It's pretty much asking for us to do that, isn't it? And as long as you remember to open up your cargo scoop, you'll be able to pick up some new materials. And yes, these seem to be the components needed for the Guardian weaponry. So once we deliver these components back to the tech broker, we'll be able to unlock the Guardian weapons and then purchase them through the outfitting screen. But the unlock does seem to be pretty high, there's quite higher requirements there, so it may require quite a lot of time around these various sites. So I spent quite a bit of time around these ruins looking at various different things and it seems that there's quite a few things here to interact with. And as yet, I'm still not sure how to go about doing all of this and there may well be people that have worked this out by now on at ready or the forums, in fact I'm quite sure there has. But here appears to be some type of machine. Now the Galnet Audio article did mention three different sites or three different systems. I haven't been to all of them, I've only been to this one. So at the moment I've no idea if they all look the same or if they have some sort of variation to them. But I did try shooting the little glowy orbs in the middle here and they seem to set off a timer. 
I suspect you've got to shoot all of them within the time frame, but first you're going to need to find all of them. So you will have noticed as I approached those particular pillars they emerged out of the ground, which means it is a case of driving around trying to find these things. I thought I saw something blue glowing over there in the distance, so I decided to approach that. This one looked like one of those relics from a distance, or maybe one of the destructible panels. I was hoping perhaps something else would turn up as I got closer, and in fact something else did turn up, but it wasn't what I was expecting. So, some type of new skimmer then, or sentry. You may remember that the Thargoid ruins, or the Thargoid bases, had something very, very similar. Now, you can't find a new alien and not investigate, so that was the plan. I drove over to have a bit of a closer look, and of course, it was aggressive, just as the HUD indicated, and no surprise really, I've been shooting up the place, and this is probably its protector. Now, considering how forceful its weapons look there, they don't deal too much damage, at least initially, but you probably don't want to put up with a prolonged barrage from the ship. Better to take it out or just get the heck out of here and not worry. But again, if you want to get those Guardian unlocks, then you're probably going to want to try and take these out to see what they drop, as well as be able to pick up the rest of the components in the area. So I've shot a few of these now since this initial uh, attack, and uh, some of the attacks go very, very easy. Sometimes you can just quickly shoot them. Other times, if the missiles keep hitting you, it can be a bit of a nuisance because they do cause you to tumble around and lose track of what you're actually shooting at. Seeing these type of sentries out here though does really raise a pretty significant question, doesn't it? If these are out here, then what else is out here? And as their guardians, where are the rest of the guardians? Are they in fact still alive, as many people have predicted and suggested? And if ultimately that does turn out to be the case, then we as a human race are probably not doing ourselves any favours. First, we shoot up everything Thargoid related, and now we're shooting up everything Guardian related. There's certainly much more going on at this site, so I'll bring that in another video. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.